Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Luminosity Invitational, the Kroger Gaming Luminosity Invitational. You have 10 of the best players in the entire world coming on down for this event. And it's a one day event taking place on Saturday so make sure you watch because every single match is going to be an absolute banger. Our 10 players in attendance are MK Lale, Hungrybox, Light, Tweak, Riddles, DeBuzz, Meister, Sonic, Shattuck, and Mars. So the way that this bracket works is that there are two pools of five, two people making it through on the winner's side, two people making it through on the loser side, and one person drowning in pools. And we have this lovely graphic by the Thief of Light there, like, will be down below. And I highly recommend you follow them because they just do really good work. Like, this graphic is sick. Do I really need to convince you? But our first pool is going to consist of Sonic's Shattuck Meister riddles and mars starting off with sonics as our first seed and i'm very confident that he's going to get the first seed of this pool even though we haven't seen him play in quite some time he is just world class and all these matchups are honestly really good for him he's got a super dominant record versus meister as you can see 2-0 from 2023 sets and onward he is 2-1 versus riddles but kazuya sonic is a very difficult match for kazuya and i would expect him to take that one he's never played versus mars before but i don't think that zero suit does very well into sonic characters that can kind of just catch up to zero suit and don't let her control the tempo she really struggles against and sonic can definitely catch up to her and the final one is going to be shattuck and if sonic's is going to drop a set i think it is going to be to shattuck Corrin does do fairly well versus sonic and the two players have never played before but with that in mind sonic's has a lot of experience versus spargo and a lot of experience versus the spargo corn as well he's very good at the matchup he's demonstrated that a multitude of times so he should be able to take it but Corin, not a terrible choice into Sonic Shattuck, very good player, it's definitely a possibility. The second seed of Pool 1, I think, is going to be Shattuck. I know we're being a little bit boring right now, but as I established, I think he's the only player in this pool that has a very real chance versus Sonic, so there's potential that he gets out as the first seed, but the other matchups are also very good for him. As you can see, he's won his only encounter versus Meister. It should be noted that that set was incredibly close at Genesis, and prior to that, Meister does have a winning record over Shattuck, but I think Korn does fairly well versus Game Watch, and he should be able to take that one. And versus Riddles, he also has a winning record, and Loki Korn destroyed is causing that matchup is extremely difficult so i expect riddles to pull out the terry maybe even the cloud i think that's more for like a steve game watch specific thing but it's definitely not impossible and the final matchup is going to be versus mars and mars is actually a pretty tricky one and for that reason i think mars is going to be the third seed of this pool because i do think that zero suit beats corn the best thing about corn is her frame japping zero suit doesn't really care she just kind of flip jumps away and the disadvantage is also pretty rough for corn so i think mars is a very really chance in that head to head and i'm just gonna say way to mars because he also has an amazing matchup versus meister game watch zero suit is heavily in zero suits favor i already said that the sonic matchup isn't super great and i would heavily favor zero suit versus kazuya but it's still Kazuya, and it's Riddles Kazuya, which is very scary, because you just have to consistently outplay him in neutral, and Riddles is a very difficult player to consistently outplay, but I think the matchups are in Mars's favor. We don't really have any actual information on how he's going to do so. Based off the paper results, I think he's going to get that third seed. And one of Meister and Riddles got to go home early, and I think that it's going to be Riddles. Straight up, I think this is the worst possible pull you could have given Riddles. He would have preferred, like, every single matchup in Pool 2 over any of the matchups in Pool 1, both in paper and in practice. As you can see, he's losing 1-2 to Sonic, Shattuck, and Meister, and Meister wins those last two sets fairly dominantly even though overall Riddles is winning that head to head he's been looking really good there and even though he hasn't played Mars recently Zirsu does extremely well into Kazuya and the win condition for Riddles is going to be getting this set over Meister I think Shattuck and Sonic is going to be a lot more difficult just because one the character is really hard but two those guys are just incredible and Riddles has been playing Cloud a bit recently and Cloud does do fairly well into Game Watch so that could come out versus Meister but I don't think it's going to be necessarily ready in time and I do think that riddles is going to be going out in the pools phase but i should mention if riddles can get past this pools phase he will have a great run this term i think this is easily the hardest part of the bracket for him if he manages to overcome it expect some great things and i'm going to be working backwards for the pool too because i think we all know who is getting last in this one and it's no disrespect to hungry box and i know people are mad at him for being in this tournament which is crazy but i'm pretty sure he was just filling in for zomba so shout out to hungry box for basically saving this event because it wouldn't be able to happen without him you can't run a nine player invitational and the only saving grace that he has in his pool is going to be this matchup versus light because you can edge guard fox i think jigglypuff has a chance in that matchup 
but also after one interaction you're gonna be in their up smash percentages and light is like insane it's just a really difficult bracket for hbox in general but he is an amazing player fundamentally he's incredibly smart he's got a ton of experience behind him and versus better players i do think that hungry box kind of matches his opponent if you are world class he is going to be playing at that world class level but is it going to be enough especially when he's on jigglypuff i don't think so and i'm also not going to surprise you with my fourth seed which is going to be the buzz as you can see four and one versus light or i guess one and four versus light oh and two versus leo and it's like 20 and one in leo's favor or something crazy like that now he did beat tweak at their last encounter but that was at let's make lose miami which was quite some time at this point and just the record versus light and leo is ultimately the thing that's putting him in fourth for me and the top three is where things get a little bit tricky for me because you have light leo and tweak and tweak light very coin flippy matchup light leo very coin flippy matchup tweak and leo isn't as coin flippy you have tweak winning all the recent encounters but leo looked so good at their last set during lmbm that i think he has a very real chance of taking this one even though the matchup isn't super great for joker so i'm still going to have leo as my third seed because he has a coin flip versus light and then i would slightly favor tweak versus leo but I'm actually going to have Light as our first seed. Even though overall Tweak has been winning and he looked really good at that set during Genesis. Editing for Pluck. I should add that Tweak has been a lot more dominant in their recent encounters. So a little bit less coin flippy than it may seem based off their recent sets. I still think that Light is going to be able to adapt and take this one though. I just wanted to point it out. I think Light's going to make adaptations. But it isn't even this Tweak Light set that I'm thinking about. It's this tweak the buzz set that I'm thinking about because Light and Leo not guaranteed to beat the buzz, but they are heavy, heavy, heavy favorites versus the buzz. Whereas tweak the buzz is a lot more of a coin flippy matchup. So you have tweak kind of sitting here with a guaranteed win versus Hbox and not a guaranteed win versus Leo, but a win that he is favored in and a coin flippy matchup. You have Light with two heavy favoring matchups in the buzz and Hungrybox. I know I said Hungrybox has a chance versus Light, but Light is still a top ten player in the world. He definitely still should win that one, and he has a coin flippy matchup in Leo and Tweak. But two coin flips and two guarantees is better than one coin flip, one guarantee, and two kind of, eh, I don't know if he's going to win that one. So I'm going to have Light as my first seed, and this tweak Light set is ultimately going to be the thing that decides, but the buzz is a very big X factor, and he's ultimately the reason that I went with Light. And we've arrived at the top eight. This Google Sheets was made by the lovely iCookie Monster. So big ups to them. Their link will be down below as always. And be sure to sub while you're down there. But our first matchup is going to be Sonics versus Tweak. And I do think that Sonics is going to win this one. But of all the matchups in like the entire tournament, this is the one that I have the least confidence in because they played three times recently. You have Tweak winning the two sets at LNBM. You have Sonics winning the one set at Genesis. And Sonics made very good adaptations during their Genesis set. He looked a lot better in the edge guarding and specifically he looked way better at using banana against tweak and just not getting hit by it so i think sonus is going to have enough adaptations where he should be able to win it but i'm sure tweak is also going to make adaptations it's going to be a really good set i don't really know who's going to win it but i'm just going to go with sonus because he's the goat then you're going to have light versus shattuck and this is another tricky one you have light overall very dominant in the head to it i believe it's 4-1 in his favor but don't quote me on that one you have shattuck having a really close set at limitation and winning fairly dominantly at Cirque but I'm still going to go with Light because he has the record overall and Fox Corn is so bad for Corn. Like it's not even funny that matchup is god awful. So Light should win it, but Shattuck is like the king of winning the matchups that he should win right now, so be sure to look out for that one. In the loser side, you're going to have DeBuzz versus Mars as our first matchup. And you do have DeBuzz winning their only 2024 encounter at Collision. It ends up going game five. And it's probably going to be the Olimar from DeBuzz. Word on the street says that DeBuzz does not like that matchup. But Olimar just does so well. And it's definitely not going to be Mimin. That matchup is definitely tough for that character. And I don't think Rosalina does amazing versus Zuzu. I'm honestly not super confident which character would win that matchup. But it's probably going to be Olimar. That is a struggle matchup for ZSS. And I do do think that the buzz is going to take it but this should be an extremely competitive set and then you're gonna have mk leo meister and this probably won't be an extremely competitive set it's just so dominant for leo but to meister's credit he has been a lot better recently in the set that he is usually getting bodied so maybe this is a time where he finally makes the adaptation versus leo and overcomes him but both on paper and in practice matchup wise player wise it's, it's just a rough one for meister Next up is going to be Tweak versus the Buzz, and this is another matchup where I just don't really know. It's going to be a repeat of the pools phase, and I talked about how the Buzz won their last encounter at Miami, and before that, Tweak does win it at Gommel, but 
both those sets are over six months old at this point it really doesn't mean anything the boss has a plethora of characters he could choose from it's probably gonna be the rosalina but i honestly just don't really know who's going to win this one so the way that i decided is I asked chat when I did a stream and they picked Tweak, so I'm going to be going with Tweak and that's all you're getting out of me. Then you're going to have Shattuck versus MKLeo and I'll give you a little more analysis here. I do think that Shattuck is going to win this one. They've only played one time and I believe it was at Miami as well and Shattuck did end up taking that set. Now, I'm pretty sure that Leo was playing Violet at that set. It's probably going to be the Joker this time around and I do think that Joker does pretty well into Corrin, but I just think Shattuck is going to win anyway. This guy is in incredible fundamentally he is just such a strong player and i think he's going to be able to overcome the bad matchup so we've got our top four sonics versus light in the winner side and tweak shattuck in the loser side and i really need to see this sonics light set happen because they haven't played since momocon that was the only time that sonics was ever able to take a set versus Light. the record is like 8-1 or 9-1 in light's favor i'm not sure exactly and i'm going to be picking light to win this one because the record is 8-1 or 9-1 in his favor, and Fox is arguably Sonic's worst master. There are two characters in this game that I think have arguments for beating Sonic. One of them is Pikachu, the other one is Fox. But with all of that in mind, I still don't feel good about this pick, even though it's Sonic's worst matchup in practice and on paper. His adaptation is just so good. I know he has been grinding out fox ledge trapping and edge running and just making sure that the guy can never get back to the stage he's going to be really strong in the neutral in the boxing game it is going to be a banger but you, you have to go with light here he's eighth and one you have to go with light then you're going to have tweak versus shattuck and this is another encounter where you don't think shattuck should win it both on paper and in practice tweak has been very good he's won all of their encounters i believe it's 4-0 but again don't quote me on that one diddy kong definitely does well into corin but Shattuck recently has just been so incredible. He's been winning all the matchups that he's not supposed to. So I wouldn't be surprised if he came out on top. In the losers finals, you're going to have that run back of Sonic's tweak. And I'm going to be picking Sonic's again. He's just an incredible player. It's really hard for me to bet against him. And if he's able to win that first set, it's probably going to be because he figured out how to consistently edge guard Diddy Kong. And if you can consistently edge guard Diddy Kong, you're going to have a good time. And Finally, you're going to have Lights versus Sonics, and it's all the things that I just said earlier. I do think that Sonics has a very real chance to win this set, but I can't bet on Sonics until I've seen it. I need to see him actually overcome Light, and once he does that, yeah, we'll favor him versus Light. We'll favor him versus anyone in the world, but I haven't seen it yet, so Light is going to be your winner of LSI, the Luminosity Smash Invitational, the Kroger Smash Invitational, and with that, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the sport. It's been absolutely unreal as play if there's anything i left out got wrong or if you just want to say hi leave a comment down below be sure to sub while you're down there and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye